Hello guys, in this episode I'll show you how to retouch skin from teenagers. Bonjour mesdames et messieurs, and welcome to episode 52 of my photography, Lightroom and Photoshop tips. Mon nom is Serge Ramelli and I'm a French photographer living in Paris, France. Right now I'm traveling in the United States. Last week I showed you how to create an HDR look just using Lightroom. This week we're going to jump into Photoshop and I will show you how to retouch the skin of a teenager. This is the before photo and this is the after photo. So come and join me and I'll show you how to do this. Okay, mesdames et messieurs, so here we are. I have a portrait of my nephew who is a teenager and has some spots on the face. I'm double click on the file. That's going to open up Camera Raw. So I'm in Camera Raw uh, 8.1. Now, that's one of the questions I get a lot from people, like how do you retouch portraits using Camaro? Do you still do the open the shadows at 100 and highlights at 100? Well, obviously I don't do that, because if you do that, if you open up the shadows at 100 and the highlights down, you get like a complete HDR look, which could be interesting, but that's not what I'm going for. I'm going for a natural look on this one, so I'm gonna click on default. All I'm gonna do is just maybe open up a bit of shadows on this one. Uh, the highlights, I don't think I'm gonna to touch bring up a bit the exposure yeah, just to make it brighter and uh, I'm just gonna click on the white balance and this is a neutral gray so I'm just gonna click on it and voila that's all so uh, I want to show you how to retouch teenager skins with spots on the face so let's duplicate the background layer so that we can see the before and after and let's zoom in so the first thing I'm, I'm gonna do basically three steps to clean up the skin so step number one, I'm going to use the spot hitting brush tool. Okay. And that's what I'm going to do is just go over some of his spots and the spot hitting brush tool should take care uh, most of it. Uh, so let's just go. Now, if it does something funky like this, just command Z and, uh, and then you can try another tool. You can try the hitting brush tool. And the healing brush tool works the same, except you have to use the option key to, to select something which is clean. So let's take something a bit further down and up. So just, yeah, and that works better. But so, but it's just so much faster to go with a spot healing brush tool. So, you know, why not, why do something very slow when it could be more interesting? Uh, when it could be, uh, I mean, a bit faster. So, yeah, it takes a bit of time. Okay, this is a bit too, drags too much attention. I'm just trying to get, you know, a natural result. I'm not trying to get like a fashion portrait. This is something, this technique I show you, you would use, you know, uh, for, you know, a photo of your nephew or your kid, uh, you know, and you just want to make them look a bit good, you know. Uh, you don't want them, uh, yeah, you want to impress your friends or whatever, you know. It's not a high-hand fashion uh, retouching and I'm actually not good in eye and fashion retouching because that's not what I do I do landscape but I'll show you a few tricks that I know so I'm gonna go for the healing brush tool now and some spots are a bit harder like this one so I'm gonna press the alt key maybe here and just do something like this that's pretty cool something like this you know just take something which is I mean I just I don't want to take everything off I just want to you know there was just like way too much so, uh, all right, let's see the before and after. Before, after, before, after. That's already better, you know, took a lot, a lot, a lot of things. Okay, um, now I wanna show you a little trick. So I'm gonna double, I'm gonna duplicate the background again. You see, I don't like how it is dark under his eyes. So for this, we're gonna use the patch tool. I'll show you a little trick. You make a little selection, uh, of the eyes and you drag and drop it on something which is clean okay now if I stop here this is way not natural so the trick is once you've done that you go to file I mean edit and you go to this fade patch selection and what that does is that it's just gonna fade away the last thing you did and what is the last thing that I did is that I clean up on the his eyes so I'm gonna go to like 20% or yeah or 35% Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing with the other eyes, you know, just select this dark part under the, his eyes and dra drag and drop it, and then edit, fade patch selection. Let's go about 30. Okay, command D to unselect. Check this out, under the eyes, before, 
after. See how much it's just a, a bit brighter. That's something you can do to just to make a face to make a face uh, look a bit younger, you know. Okay, or yeah, if you want to have a wrinkle, you know, a wrinkle. Let's say that I wanted this wrinkle to be less. You know, all I could do is just take it, put put it away. Oh, let me select again this layer. Put it on a clean skin, and just go to Edit, Fade Pass Selection, and let's go be you know 20 or 25 percent. You know, same thing here. You know. Uh, okay, put it on a clean skin, and then you go to Edit, Fade Patch Selection like 20%, okay, no. Command D to undo, select, okay. It just, you know, it just takes a bit of attention of the eyes. Now the skin is still red and you can tell, you know, it needs a bit of smoothing, you know. So I'm gonna show you a way to smooth the skin uh, in a way uh, that it just makes it a bit more natural. Let me show you the before, we came from this and now this is where we are. So let's continue, I'm gonna again duplicate the layer now, this is going to get, be a little bit complex, but that's the good thing about video is you can go back and watch it again. So, this is something I learned from Mr. Scott Kelby, uh, a great mentor that I have. So, here we go. Command I to invert the photo. All right. Then, put this into vivid light. Okay. Then, go into filter. Uh other high pass I usually go for around 15 with high res photos 15 16 so that's cool now that kind of looks weird I agree but then uh, you go to filter blur Gaussian blur and I'm gonna go for around uh, yeah maybe two or let's see three three four pixels I think I'm gonna go, yeah, for something like, yeah, four pixel about. Okay, so I did about 15 on the high pass and three. So, I repeat, I inverted the layer, I put it in vivid light mode, then I did a high pass at 15 pixel and a Gaussian blur of around three, between three and four. Okay, now I'm gonna lower the opacity of this of like around, like, let's start with 70. I'm going to press the Option key and click on the mask, which is going to create a black mask. So it's going to take out all I've done. And then I'm going to take a brush by pressing B, making sure my opacity is around 47, painting with white. So I've got a black mask. Black mask means that anything that which is on that layer is invisible. And now I'm going to paint with a white brush, which is at 50%. And all I'm trying to do is, is make the skin a bit more even, a bit smoother, but keep the whole thing natural. I'm not going for like a drawy look. I'm going for a little, just a little nicer skin. It's gonna take some of the red stuff off, you know. He still looks like a teenager, you know, he doesn't look like a, a top model, but it's just, it's a bit better. You'll see, it's a bit better. Okay, now it's funny because as you do this, you have the feeling you don't, you don't do much, which that can happen. Okay, I should have maybe done a better job with uh, the skin here, but you know. Okay. So, check this out. Before, after. Before, after. It's a way to clean up the skin, but you still get all the pores of the skin and everything. You know, you don't, you get a sort of, you don't get like, a, it doesn't create at all the you know the soft the porcelain plastic looking type of skin you see sometimes people doing okay it makes even the pore bigger but look at this this is the before this is our, it's kind of subtle but it makes a good result I, I like what it does you should really try this technique uh, let's go fit on screen okay this is so this is where we came from and this is where we are we have a nice looking fellow a nice looking teenager Okay, before I get back to the studio, I want to show you again uh, my workflow package, which has a special summer promotion on it. So, don't go away. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs, and welcome to this uh, full workflow course. My name is Serge Remeli, and I'm going to take you to Paris, I'm going to take you to Israel, and show you exactly how I work from shooting, compositing my photos, to post-processing. Many people ask me, but you know, what settings do you use on your camera or 
how do you do your framing. That's why I wanted to show you how I take the photo and how I retouch it. Here you can see some of the projects we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing panoramas, long exposures. We are going to do some very uh, night photos or early morning photos. You will see exactly how I use Lightroom and how I use Photoshop to get the results that you can see here. So come and join me in this training class. Okay guys, so I hope you like that tutorial. It's, um, it's a, a very simple technique, but it creates great results and it can make a lot of teens happy. Okay, I hope you're gonna check my workflow course and you can use the coupon SUMMER2013 to get 20% on it. This is a special promotion for the summer. Check out my full workflow course. Thank you very much and I'll see you next week. Wow, 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 wow.